Hello everyone and welcome back to the Yukir tribe and we are here in the middle of a blizzard with a balance bear having emerged from the snowy forest and uh, currently crouching kind of threateningly right over little Suka. So I'm not sure if perhaps this beautiful pine tree is protecting her and keeping her alive but we've got some interesting challenges going on for our little tribe and I have to say it seems like so far they have survived a lot longer than many of you thought they would and I'm very 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 thankful and feeling pretty lucky for that but I definitely learned a few new things especially reading over all of your guys comments and getting a great warning about what to expect on the hard snowy island apparently there's literally no food on the snowy island and that may actually change up my thoughts about what we are going to be doing with the Ukiah tribe I think I want to work really hard at making sure we get that armored body into the family so that we can carry on the trait we have gained from this snowy land but I would love to take them to the different snow biomes and be able to discover more of the hidden genes that are hiding tucked away in the ice so to do that we do need to continue on to the snow but I want to make sure we have plenty of food before we we go So I think we might start settling around the trees and we'll see how much food we can gather up from these different trees And we'll really focus on trying to breed up the animals that currently have the armored body genetics Like Allah who was the one rescued from the ice She is currently the only one who displays the armored body But she has had a few children who can hopefully pass the armored body down We might have to breed her children against each other to be able to preserve the gene but you have to admit that's really important to be able to get that gene in there because we really need to make sure that we don't lose it once it's gone I don't think we'll find it again until we find another creature with armored body hiding in the ice so very important to protect that that little genetic treasure that we found and I'm trying to think let's see who all his children are really quickly just to make sure Ah, uh, it's so pretty. All right, Ala, where are you hiding, my dear? I think she would be, yeah, she'd be up here. <gasps> Whoa, kill! I don't think I've clicked on this for a little while. That's so fun. All right, let's hide that again. Ala, no, Ala. Ala, I need to click on you, Ala. No, Ala, not the attributes. Ala, gosh darn it. <laughs> All right, let's try it. Let's try this. Uh, I guess I could try attribute defense. And then it displays Allah has the defense. That is so cool, but it doesn't tell me. <laughs> it doesn't tell me who her kids are because I can't reach her. Oh, there's like tracker over here. Allah, there's bro. Can I can I reach you, Allah? Uh, almost, Allah. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to reach her. So that'll be a little bug that I'll report on this build. But I know she has a few children. So let's see, big body. We have spiky body, we have big body. Uh, Lamila here might be a good fighter, but she has those darn frog legs we're really trying to get rid of. Spiky body, there we go. So Kirku, who unfortunately I think happens to be one of our little ones who has a cold and could spread that infectious flu among our entire tribe. He has armored body. And then we have little mouse who is really adorable, uh, but also is sick because she is the child of a rogue, I believe, which was quite agitating. I think the balance bear took care of him for us. We've also got Zakai who is absolutely amazing with those double beautiful, beautiful little deer legs with the little velvet paw. Zakai looks just phenomenally cool. So I really like Zakai and Zakai's immunity genes. And then we've got this little one. Ananasi, who needs a new name, and then, let's see, Komila. So we definitely need Ala to have some more children, because we only have, like, two of them we could currently breed. Kirku, technically we could breed for his armored body, but he's got doubled up genetics, and he would be too dangerous to breed with his sister. Uh, Navi, we could actually breed Navi with his sister, which doesn't sound ideal, but it would actually mean that we could get the armored body. So, whew, all right, we're preserving those icy genes and trying to see what drama is going to happen to the Yukir tribe today. I was thinking if we needed to, we would actually have them escape to the jungle land over here, but as long as that balance bear doesn't go on a rampage, and so far I don't think it's bothered us, then we might be able to survive here. So we're going to have to see. And we also have this rogue male who has been getting threateningly close to my females, so we definitely need to defend ourselves. Uh, Raiju is definitely in the mood to clear that guy away and make sure he doesn't bother our females. And we need to continue to work on diligently gathering up what food we can. So let's focus on food for a second. Here we go. 
Uh, oh dear. And Katie... No! No! Attack! Attack! Get away from me! Oh my gosh! That's so... That's so risky. Okay, Zakai! Zakai! Here, trade places! Get away! Okay, thank goodness. So far, he is staying away. We don't need... Oh, dang it. He does have that immunity, D gene. But I just think... And he does have normal eyesight. Oh, darn it. Maybe we should just go ahead and breed with him. I hadn't thought about that. He's got really high fertility. Fine. Fine. If you're going to be like this... Uh, are we expecting now? Are we expecting... No, it wasn't... It wasn't very... The mating failed. That's hilarious. Okay, so uh, ironically, we're we're fine, and we didn't get bothered. Oh, now we're pregnant. <sighs> but you know what? I think that's gonna be okay. An unexpected twist. I hate having the no paw risk, but the fact of the matter is, um, oh, and she has that rare immunity K too. So Katie definitely does need to have some children. But getting that immunity D into our family may actually be helpful since the um, diseases that they can have are really quite devastating. So, all right. And then we have Mina. All right, Mina. You're in charge of really helping to guide some of the, the little creatures that we have on this side. And I definitely don't feel like running the whole family over to the Heart Island now that I know how difficult it will be. We should probably focus on gathering up a little bit more food. So maybe a hundred food and getting that armored body really deeply in the family. And then we'll start thinking about moving on to the next section, especially because you can only take, I think, five of our tribe members. All right. So knowing that, what am I going to do with these little ones? Poor Mouse and Kirku. I feel like that they would be really close, especially because they have identical genes. And I'm going to try to get them up into the hot springs and see if that helps with their, their like deadly cold. But we'll have to see. And then Everett is over here. And he and Ala are having some beautiful children together. Um, Ala, I think I'm going to have her move over. This may be a good spot. Going over to the tree would be a much better spot to have more children. But the fact of the matter is, Ala doesn't have a lot longer to live. So we'll go ahead and just keep her kind of like right on this spot. Ooh, Everett, can you get that bunny? Everett, get it. Yes, food. Okay, good food, bad. We didn't end up mating like we needed to, but I think the food is going to be just as important. Um, and then over here, we do have Rikomi expecting right now. So she also needs to kind of, oh yes, there's some food over here too. We'll have her move over. And then Kiroku, Kiro, who I think was he? I don't think Kiro was born into the tribe. Uh, was he, Kiro? Were you born into the tribe? Let's see, we have the rogue showing up. Uh, Kiro, there we go. Yeah, he is just, he was, he was the wanderer that I think we invited in, because it doesn't look like he's related to anybody. Um, so he is going to come over. He can help by digging up some of the food. There's actually roots hiding under the soil, or under the snow. That's so nifty. All right, we'll have him continue looking for food. And then, let's see, maybe if I send little Suka down. Asuka, what could we have you do? Would you make a good mate with Kiro? She would risk having a double immunity child with Kiro, I think. And what about with Everett? Same thing with Everett. That immunity G gene is a little bit too common. Um, so let's see. Is there somebody over here? And we do have the birds flying overhead, so I need to make sure I stick with our babies and don't go too far away from them. All right, and Raji, can you do anything? You can kind of clear away some of the snow. Oh, and there's a bunny. All right, we might have Raji come over here and focus on trying to clear this area out and find some more food. Can we smell or hear anything over there? Not quite, but we might be able to get more food there. But yeah, I think that's what our current plan is going to be, guys, is focusing on trying to get a little bit more food. And I don't think Mina can really do too much here other than just stay near her children. She can do digging paw, though. Is there any... Are there any roots nearby? I don't think so. There's a whole bunch of them over here. There are some over there though. So maybe Mina, let's see, is there anybody? Who did she take as a mate last time? I don't remember. I'm kind of tempted to have Mina take that rogue as a mate, believe it or not. And I think the baby will be watched over by Ares. So we'll line all of them up. There we go. 
Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do right now. Sorry, I'm just like considering all of these different things and where we want to go. I wanted to rush to the next island, but let's work on trying to get about 100 food and get the armored body into our tribe and then we'll move on. All right, so Navi, I think we need to have Navi clear away some spots and gather up some of this food. So Kai can actually gather up some of these berries and I think we're going to have him clear a little path so that we can get uh, Ala and her daughter over to that side of the island pretty easily. And Everett, you be careful with that little leech there, sir. All right, what do we have going on with Suka? Suka's over here. I guess she, does she have anyone who she could take as a mate? Navi? She could take Navi as a mate. So I think we'll have Suka move over. She also has Cracker Jaw. So she'd be able to break open and hopefully make use of the nuts that we have. We really lucked out at having all of these trees on this island, I think. All right, Balance Bear, you stay right there, please. Oh, did the Balance Bear just die? Or is it hibernating? Can it do that? Can the balance bear hibernate in the snow? Oh, look at his eyeballs. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. So apparently the balance bear is there. Did somebody die? I don't think so. Yeah, rogue male, uh, rogue male. We have some leeches and we do have poor little mouse is doing very badly. She's cold and she has the common cold. We're gonna try to get her and Kirku up to the top of the mountain, I think. Uh, Kirku can gather this up. All right, Kirku's not moving this time, but hopefully he and Mouse can make it up the side of the mountain in time. Um, and then they're clearing away from the nest. These nests could otherwise end up infected, so I have to be super careful. So I'm going to have Everett move over here. His mate is going to pluck away that leech, and then he's going to mate with her. Oh, and I guess their baby is old enough that little Comila, who I'm going to have to rename with your guys' names, can scooch into the nest again. So she's going to stay there. We're going to have Suka. Can Suka gather up? Can he? Yeah, Everett can gather up from the berry bush. Suka can collect up the rabbit and we'll have her slowly but surely move over to Navi and hopefully she'll be able to make her way over to Navi before she passes away of old age. Navi is getting quite cold, so we may need to work on getting, uh, I mean, I guess armored body wouldn't help. But if you have, I think you guys told me five creatures, four or five creatures, then that's what gives them the warm, um, the warmth ability. Let's see. And then Takai, why aren't you cold? Huh. I'm not sure why he isn't chilled to the bone, but he's doing okay. Oh, good. And we found another berry bush. Fantastic. We'll have him work on that. And then over here, Rikomi and her new mate, Kiro, we'll have them wiggle their way over here. Kiro's really good at digging up um, the roots. And Rikomi, I'll have her gather up from here and then maybe make a nest. I mean, why not? We have all this material. And Rikomi, does she have normal hind legs? She does. Does he have normal hind legs? He does. He has webbed hind legs recessive. So we want to make sure we don't get those. But then I think, what would I need for my creatures here. They aren't really displaying any antlers just yet or ram horns and that would be just a little extra boost. So let's give them some antlers and if I want to survive on this island, let's see, she's got spiky body and big body. He's got big body. Their child will probably have big body so I probably don't need to worry about that. Their child will have normal eyesight. Um, would it hurt to have poison fangs? I think actually having cracker jaw is more useful and medium tail Let's see, medium tail, medium tail. Their child will probably have medium tail, so that'll be fine. Um, let's see, let's see. All right, let's just go for, um, hmm. I guess ram horns? You know what, let's put it in. We wanna make sure we start getting some ram horns on our creatures to really protect ourselves. So I'll toss that on there too. And then let's see what we can do with the Yukir tribe. Might jump into, I mean, I don't want to get us too overexcited with having lots of babies because <laughs> babies mean responsibility and that means like making sure that we can feed everyone. All right, so, oh, and there is a crabbit down there. Hmm, I wonder if fighting crabbits would be useful. All right, we're gonna have Raju work his way over here and we'll start kind of studying up this side of the island because there's a rabbit burrow right here and a, 
tree. So maybe we should start moving some of the family over there so they could gather up some rabbits and they could gather up some nuts from the tree, especially all of these ones that have the ability uh, to crack open nuts. So, hmm, Zakai, I feel like I need to have Zakai pick a really wonderful mate. Uh, who would he pair well with? Anybody here? Um, actually, Zakai and Katie. Nope, they would have the same kind of baby. Anasi, Minka, Mina. Hmm, Zakai, you need a new mate, I think, because you're a little too closely related with Immunity H to most of your family over here, at like Ares. So, hmm, we might have to find Zakai a new mate. That's the problem. Now that we have this mountain pass, separating our family genetics is getting a little bit riskier than usual. So I'm gonna have to figure out what to do. But man, I really like Zakai. He looks pretty awesome. All right, so enough of that. Um, maybe I'll hold off on the babies. Yeah, we'll hold off on the babies for just a moment. Kind of kick the tree, focus on gathering up a little bit more food. Um, Mina is actually on the hunt. Let's send her over here for these roots. And then, ah, here's a little crabbit. Can you attack anything, Sakai? He can do some attack, actually. So then he and Raju can work on getting that crabbit. That's better than nothing. I'm gonna scooch the baby over towards the rest of the family so that it'll be safe. And then Eris, I guess I could send Eris over to the other tree. I think that everybody is gonna be focused on food now that we've got, Lamila could probably go over there too. Hmm. Lamila, I would love to get you a good mate, actually. And you know what, if I do end up having them work their way over to this tree, then these two parts of the tribe would be a lot closer and that would actually make it easier for us to get to the next island. So the Mila is going to start doing some exploring over on this side as well. Slowly but surely, we're piecing it all together. There we go. All right, but Ala, she's really the main star of the show right now with what happens with her children so let's go ahead and see what our armored body young ladies children are going to be the heck a doodle i don't recall asking for wolves what nonsense is this excuse you and why would you be attacking someone with spiky body children anyway and what is going on here the snow let up and I heard a Dodo Mingo like whistle at the same time. Oh, this is so exciting. It's so exciting and way too much all at the same time. What am I gonna do over here? Okay, uh, who has some good attack? Kiro, do you have some good attack? Oh my gosh, we had little Duke Ronu and unfortunately he has been born with his mother's spiky body, but maybe that's a good thing because excuse you, little wolf creature. Like I need to get a better look at him. I hate to use up one of my all critical critical like moves but um excuse you like what is this what are you an arctic ram fox do you do you have any any decency whatsoever get out of here whoa did i just i don't think i just lost anybody all my oh my gosh those birds are really circling in like vultures on maybe one of my babies <laughs> um okay how are we doing on the ram fox uh, yeah, I don't think that Kiro is going to accept his child being endangered. Uh, and actually, Ala has really great defense. How much attack? <gasps> Ala, can you, like, not attack because you don't have enough strength? You have no strength. Never mind. You can't attack. Who can attack? Everett. Everett, help us out here. <gasps> we did it. How much food is that? For food. Okay, better than nothing. That's for sure. And hey, Everett, let's go ahead and have another baby. No, the mating failed. No, it didn't. Okay, we're good. We're good. Wow. Okay, that got a little exciting there. Um, and then we still have a bit of a predator problem over here. We only have one attack, and this is a very hungry carnivore. I'm going to give him a good little what for. A couple nice little, nice little taps. So we're going to get this bunny, gather up that food. Navi has no idea what's going on, and then run away. All right, there we go. Mouse is somehow still alive. Bless her little heart. Oh. Oh. Um, there may be a ram fox. There may be a whole bunch of ram foxes coming in. Like a pack of ram foxes and a balanced bear are here. Mouse, my dear, go that way. 
that's gonna make things a little bit interesting. And then Kirku still has his common cold. No idea what I'm gonna do with him. I need to move him though. So we're gonna get him over here so he's away from our nice pretty nest. Little Suka, who is a little bit chilly. Um, Suka, I need to have you find a good mate. Would he be a good mate? He would not be a good mate. I think Navi is still the best mate for you. Navi is currently being plagued by a, um, currently being plagued by a predator. There's a predator between Suka and Navi. Ah, things are getting quite interesting. And to be honest, I have actually, uh, my mind has dwindled a little bit at remembering our royal family, if you could call him that, like our, our fertility god touched family that we had over here. So let me check out the family tree and Remimi. I'm so sorry that I named you Remimi me for all of your life. That would be Recall Me and Mina. So Mina was helping to guide everybody and pass that on probably to her children. Mina was helping out there. Yeah, Yuki was reborn and then Everett was his son. I really feel like the, the reborn gods that we had have kind of eased up a little bit, but I feel like Zakai has carried on a little bit of the leadership role. Like he's just really growing into it and he has a certain presence about him, a very serious presence that hopefully will mean that his family is encouraged to listen to his advice and we can start wiggling our way over to this tree. If we get both families over here, there's all of these bunny burrows on this side of the island we could focus on too. But we have an Arctic ram fox problem, to say the least. Not really sure what we're going to do about that. Pretty interested to see where that goes. But yeah, like I keep saying, I really like, I really like this little guy. So let's see. Can I get him maybe over here? Can I get any closer to you, Zakai? So we're gonna have to figure out, like I think Zakai is going to take on a bit of that role and Mina would probably be happy to have her son be so interested. Lamila, can we have Lamila? I think I'm gonna have Lamila just sort of frog hop her way over. Uh, oh, <laughs> we met the we met the stray guy again. <laughs> Rogue male, do I want to try for that immunity D gene? I guess I do. Hey buddy. All right, might as well. I don't really want your no paw, but I can do something about no paw and I can't do something if we start missing immunity genes. And then Raju, could he be a good mate for any of the females? He and Ares, he and Ares were supposed to have beautiful babies. That's right, all right. So we may have them start having children in just a little bit here, but we've got to make sure we have enough food to feed everybody. Mina, can you smell any more? There are some good roots over here. Yeah, there's lots of bunnies, look at this. Raju, okay, let's wait, let's kick this tree. Can you get it, Raju? All right, and we're gonna have to keep an eye out for bunnies. And then I think Katie, she may jump into one of the permanent nests over here pretty soon. And I think Ares and Raju might have a bit of a conversation about what they might want to do together. Oh, and then I need to move the babies. I, I think they're old enough to be safe on their own, but I gotta be sure. All right, so we've got a lot going on. We're gonna have to figure out what to do with our Arctic fox infestation. And I will have to kind of pull from all of the stories that we have going on and figure out where our focus is going to be. And I really think it's going to be on Ala and making sure that we manage to snag that precious, precious armored body gene before it vanishes from the tribe. And once we do that, then we will gear up and we will try to get enough food to prepare us for the next island. And we'll send out some exploring crews to gather up the genetics, weave them into the family tree, and then continue on and on and on again to all of the snowy islands until we find all of the hidden ice genetics that we're looking for. I think that sounds like a really wonderful project for the Yukir tribe to have, especially because they had Yuki, uh, who is technically like a fertility god, and um, Oh man, Yuki's former reincarnation before that as part of their family, going around and collecting up all of the different Arctic genes in kind of their honor. It sounds like a really fun thing to do. So we'll continue working on our projects and we'll have to see what happens to poor little Mouse and Kirku, who are currently lost at the mercy of a balanced bear and a bunch of Arctic foxes next time. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.